Hey everybody, this is Nikki. I wanted to come on and do a quick reading for you all right now. This is going to be a message for the person who's on your mind, who's in your heart, who you're thinking about. It's for the collective and it's timeless. So whenever you see it, take what you need and leave the rest. I hope it resonates, okay? You're a person. They tried to make contact with you, but they changed their mind. Why? Your person tried to make contact with you, but changed their mind at the last minute. Why? Got the Wheel of Fortune here. Then we got the Page of Cups. Looks like they wanted to start something new. Uh, maybe they wanted to fix something to you, fix something with you, but at the last minute, it seems that, they're too, that they changed their mind. Because they probably didn't think that you will receive them well, so they changed their mind about it at the last minute. Okay? They probably attempted to call you, attempted to call you. I said they didn't. They attempted to call you, didn't get a, a message, didn't leave a message, you didn't answer the phone or whatever. So they changed their mind. They didn't call back or anything. They It's just no response like a dead hand. Okay? But why did they change their mind? They didn't think that, that you would treat them fairly, you know, uh, because of what they did to you. Because they wanted to come all out and tell you how they feel. How they feel. But they changed their mind. Okay? What did they want to tell you here? For the collective, what did they want to say to you? And they changed their mind. They want to tell you a lot of stuff. Probably, probably about what's going on with them with them in their life, but also that you still meant a great deal to them. Okay? They didn't know how you would receive it though. So they're back where they, they are back where they started from, not knowing what to say to you or how to say it, being the same old person that they were. Okay, but we have here the the Herophant. Secretly, this is what they want to tell you. I want to come back and be with you. I want to. I want us to work things out, okay? Because we started here with the Wheel of Fortune. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. What's in this person's heart space for you? What's in this person's heart space for you here? Their heart space, they want to communicate, okay? But they didn't. We got the Page of Cups, and we got the Page of Pentacles here. They want to say something to you. They want to give you an offer. But for whatever reason, something happened, and they changed their mind, okay? You got the Knight of Wands. They do want to talk to you, though, okay? But they don't know how you would receive it. It's a burden for them. How you, this person feels for you, it's a burden. Perhaps there is a little regret if they uh, did something to you or something like this. They feel bad about it now. They want to tell you how they feel, and it's a burden for them. A new pathway here okay they'll say that I got something to talk to you about we ended our relationship or I just, we just didn't get along or however despite all of this stuff I want to tell you that I still have feelings for you okay and they don't know how to say it they're still resting on this though okay something happened to make this person change their mind okay because <clears throat> we have the ace of swords and yeah, they're they're back to where they're starting starting from. What happened? Why did this person change their mind at the last minute? The magician, because he thought he or she thought that maybe you would think that they were they were they were playing games with you, and that's what they think that you would focus on, like like you would play games with them. But ultimately, this is what they want to do this again. They want to come back and do it right. Okay. Um. I'm hearing a song in my head, um, you're not my kind of girl, new edition from back in the day, you're not my kind of girl, but now you are, okay, they don't know if you'll accept them back, they think that you've made up their mind, you're constantly looking back at the past, but they want you to take a leap of faith to get back with them, you may be hung up in your head about it, but they want you in their life, they realize that they screwed up with you because you're their empress, okay, they realize that, that they screwed up with you, and now they're really focusing on what they missed they know that when they messed over you that they did you wrong this is what happened your happiness just just blew up into oblivion okay this is why this is what they're this is what's stopping your person from com from communicating with you again because they know that they messed up and they don't know if you could ever forgive them okay because you probably moved on with your life like I said you know some of them got all the way to ring that phone or send that text message, but at the very last minute they stopped. But if they did call you and leave, if, if they called you, they didn't leave a message. And if you return their call, 
They probably didn't answer the phone or, or gave up some kind of excuse as to why they didn't leave a message or why, why did they call you to begin with and they made up some kind of excuse, okay? Okay, you're a person. <clears throat> they wanted to communicate with you, but they stopped. Why? Why did your person stop here? Why did your person stop? They love you. It's almost as if they want to play Monopoly all over again. Let's start it. Go. Okay. We've both been through a lot. I've been holding on to my feelings for you for the longest. And I still haven't let my feelings for you go yet. They still care about you. You're still in this person's heart. You're still in this person's heart space. Okay. And they want you to experience life with them. They want to take you into this new world, this new journey with them. Wish fulfillment. Okay. They realize now what they gave up. And they're holding on to, to how they feel about you. They never stopped loving you. They may have stopped showing you that they loved you, but they never stopped feeling your love. Okay? So you make you made this person happy here. And they re remember this. And they're thinking about this. And they want to come to a conclusion with you. They don't want you to... They want you to make a decision. But in their mind, they don't want you to make what they think would be the wrong decision because they screwed up, okay? They miss happiness with you. They remember what happiness was like being with you, and they want you in their life. They don't want to, to live this life without you because when they think of happiness, they think about you. When they think of sunshine, they think about you. When they think about a new world, they think about you, okay? Something happened to this person. Uh, it's like at the last minute, Something happened to make this person change their mind about communicating with you, okay? And maybe that's a secret that we none of us need to know. <clears throat> but yeah, they want you, okay? Why did this person change their mind at the last minute from communicating with you? Why did they change their mind at the last minute from communicating with you? Why did they change their mind at the last minute from communicating with you? We got the eight of, uh, of, of pentacles here, <clears throat> and we got the page of wands, and we got the ace of cups. They're working on, on it. They Maybe they didn't think that, that they were done working on it. They probably just punked out at the, at the very last minute when they thought that you would answer the phone or before they sent the text message out. They said, hold up, I'm not done yet. I still got to work on this. I'm not done. I shouldn't, I, I spoke a little bit too soon. I'm going to, I'm, going to, I'm just going to back up a little bit, okay? And they figure if they keep on working on it just a little bit longer, however it is they want to talk to you, they got to figure out how to do it. And this is why they say take in that, um, that uh, page of wands energy to just rest for a minute. And then they're going to go again because when they get back to you, they're going to make sure they did all of their homework, because they want love everlasting with you. This overflowing of love with you. They want their queen. Okay, they want you. And because they know you're going to be looking, you better come with some good shit or don't come at all. Got the ace of swords. Or you're going to cut them out of your life because they've already done so much here for you. And they don't know what the heck, they didn't know what they had. They didn't know what the heck they wanted at first. So they know they got to come correct now that they want the whole kitten caboodle. The kid caboodle and all the animals in the corral. They want all of this stuff now. Okay. To be to tell you how they feel about you. Okay. To let you know I'm in it to win it. I don't want to mess things up anymore. Okay. I want you in my life. I want us to work together at this. I'm coming here to tell you that I love you. With with night the knight of cups and the queen of cups. I want you in my life. I know you still have feelings for me. I still have feelings for you. I always have. I've never lost that feeling for you. I just got afraid of telling you how I feel because you were too much for me to handle. And I didn't know how to be with somebody like you. I didn't know how to reciprocate the love you gave me. My, my phone over there is ringing. You know, some of you are going to get some phone calls. From unrecognizable numbers, they are not leaving messages for you. That's probably your person using somebody else's phone or using a track phone or something that, that you can't uh, track their, their phone calls, especially if they're not leaving messages. They're probably passing by your houses. I could have sworn my ex passed by my house today, y'all. Looking out the window, and about 
five minutes later, I get a phone call from him. I didn't answer the phone. <clears throat> I called my best friend. I said, so and so called. And she said, well, call him back to see what he wanted. And I did with hesitation, but I called him back. I said, well, yeah, I'm sorry. I missed your call. What's up? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, that was a mistake. I'm like, oh, okay. He said, so how you doing? I said, I'm doing all right. So you went out of your way to call my number, but it was a mistake. All right. I said, okay. And left it at that. So they're going to be saying some silly stuff if you do talk to them. I'll come up with some kind of excuse if they want to talk to you. But at the last minute, they're going to let it go. They're not going to do it. Got the seven of swords. And we got the hangman. They're playing games. <laughs> you know, not on, not that they're doing playing games on purpose. They just don't know what to say to you. So they just rather don't say anything at all because they don't want to put their foot in their mouth. They don't know what to say. Because they don't know how you, they, they don't know what to say. But this is a lover's card. Because they don't know how you will, they think that if they tell you how they truly feel, you're going to shoot them down. Okay? And their ego can't handle that. Their ego can't handle the truth. But they expect it for you to handle their truth when they broke things off with you. Hmm. Here we got the five of swords. It was a hurtful situation. Uh, they're really, really uh, hurt still, but they're conflicted in, in their mind, okay? Because they don't know what to say and how to approach you. So they're going, they got to figure it out, okay? We got the magician, okay? They got to figure out what to say to you. And, and, and until then, you probably won't hear from them because we have the three of swords. I'm sorry, we have the three of wands and we have the seven of cups. They know that they got they to gotta come correct because we have the lover's card and we have the two of cups. So they love you beyond measure. This person is coming back from your past because they love you. And they're coming back, like I said earlier, for a higher form of a commitment. Okay? Marriage. But they want to solidify this. And, and the ace of swords, they want to shoot to the stars with you and, and, and come out and honestly, honestly tell you how they feel about you. But it's a burden for them. This is why they can't communicate with you. This is why they give up at the last minute before they get to you because they don't want to drop a burden on you. They want to come to you like they got some sense. They don't want to just come to you any kind of way. Okay. I'm going to pull a couple more cards for your person to see what it is they need to surrender when it comes to how they feel about you. Okay. What is it that your person needs to surrender before they approach you? What is it that your person needs to surrender before they approach you? What does your person need to surrender before they approach you? Surrender your addictions. <laughs> they need to surrender some addictions, you all, before they approach you, okay? Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, Take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So they're still addicted to some stuff, some toxicity in their lives. And they know, I got to go to her correct and surrender fear. They're afraid. They are scared shitless with you, okay? Let go of the fearful stories you are telling yourself. Stay in the moment, focus on solutions, and celebrate every baby step forward. They're fearful that you may see that they're still addicted to substances. They are fearful that they may say something to you, stumble and fall on their face, or you may kick them out or, or curse them out or whatever. They have a lot going on, but mentally, they the, the addictions that they are going through or have been going through in their life is a huge, huge reason that they're being held, that, held back from you, okay? <clears throat> and they can't talk. What else do they need to surrender? Your person. What else do they need to surrender before they can communicate with you? Surrender denial. <laughs> surrender denial. Okay? They're in denial about you. Or perhaps they think that you're in that you are in denial about them. Okay? Accept people in situations exactly as they are without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. They need to get out of denial about themselves or how they see themselves or how they think you perceive them. The bottom of the deck I have here is surrender procrastination. They need to shit or get off the pot when it comes to telling you how they feel. They need to stop procrastinating. Go, go ahead and make that move and stop starting and then stopping when it comes to, to, to them telling you how they really feel. Surrender procrastination. 
Now is the time to jump on a goal instead of putting it off. Taking action will attract success. All they got to do is tell you how they feel. But they're, they're afraid to. They're afraid that you're going to see right through them to their addictions. They think that you're going to be um, turning them away and disregarding how they feel about you. So they are so afraid of being hurt by you. Their ego. They don't think their ego can take that shock. And they're in denial about, about how they perceive themselves. I may not be worthy of this person. This person may not love me. Or whatever. They're just in denial about them as a person in general. About their, just everything about them. Their shortcomings and everything. Everything about this person's character. They're lying to themselves. And they're procrastinating. Telling you how they feel. Give me one more card. For surrender for your person. What else do they need to surrender to? Your person needs to surrender uh, surrender stress. They're very, very stressful. This situation is stressing them out. Take a few deep breaths and exhale the tension you've built up in your body. Let the stress go as you come back to the center. Every time this person contacts you, they freeze up. Okay, They probably start coughing, choking, or whatever, or getting ready to pass out lightheaded because they're so stressed about what you're going to say or do to them when they first contact you. Okay? I hope this resonates, y'all. I'll see y'all tomorrow.